We're going to start, we'll talk about Ramadan and the fasting, of course, the fasting in uh, Muslim, uh, for Muslim, how we start, the history behind it, and how uh, Muhammad changed the rules of fasting with the, by looking at the uh, behavior of his companion. And we, all these, we t I took it from Tabari, Dukatir, Qurtubi, and some historic book. So all these are Muslim books. Uh, we, get, uh, the, we know the life of Muhammad wasn't just wars, despite the huge number of wars Muhammad had. We know they had, uh, some of them say, up to 100 wars for eight years, just for a period of eight years when he moved to Medina. That's a big number. There was other things like the, uh, the prayers, the five prayers in group and fasting and zakat. Uh, the five prayers in group were ordered since the the first day Muhammad moved to Medina. But fasting and uh, zakat, we're not, we're not sure exactly when Muhammad ordered them. So there's so many opinions, we're not sure. You don't find a single scholar is 100% sure. There are so many opinions, but we know that the prayers, uh, the, uh, we know the year two of migration, of migration to Medina, many of duty of Islam started. So from the year two of migration. Uh, the final form of each duty was depending on response of the Muslim people in Medina and the ability of this, um, of, of, of course, the Muslim to commit to these rules. Uh, we talk about fasting. So uh, at the beginning, fasting was completely different from the fasting now. Completely different, it's not the same. In the beginning, Muhammad just uh, ordered just three days of each month of fasting. And that was in the middle of the month, when the moon is full, of course. Plus Ashura. Ashura is the 10th day of Muharram. It's the first month of the Muslim calendar. Uh, there are so many stories about Ashura. Uh, how Muhammad started fasting that day, but the most authentic is the hadith of Aisha uh, in uh, Bukhari 1893 and Muslim 1125. Aisha said Ashura was a day Quraysh used to fast and Prophet Muhammad used to fast as well before Islam. So Muhammad before Islam, before he received the message from Allah, he used to fast Ashura, same like the rest of Quraysh. And there is another opinion, he say Ashura was actually, Muhammad started fasting it when he moved to Medina. <coughs> and he saw the Jews fasting that day. So he asked them, why are you fasting that day? They say, that's the day Allah saved uh, Moses from fraud. So Muhammad ordered his companion to fast that day. But that's some Muslims believe so, but is that a Sahih Hadith? Uh, I didn't look at it, but I, I brought the Sahih Hadith, or which say that I, Muhammad. I believe that is a Sahih Hadith also. So there are conflicting so contradiction things, in contradiction, the history of yeah. in history of Islam. Yeah. So that's the problem with Islam. History of Islam, there's a lot of contradiction. We're not sure of anything. Uh, so because according to that Hadith, if he was just following the, what the Jews were doing. Then he was. That's, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. That's the hadith I used to hear it since I was a child. I never heard about the other one. They didn't tell us about the other one because they hide it from us. Yeah. So why would they tell you the one about the Jews? They think that's a good hadith. Because they say, yeah, we fought, we are Muslim Islam is just continuation of, uh, of Judaism, Judaism and, uh, Christianity. and Christianity. And no, Muhammad used to fast that day even in Quraysh. Quray they're not, they're not believers, they don't believe in it. They're not, there were no Christians, there were no Jews, but he used to fast Ashura, which is quite strange. Yeah, because he's not a Jew, but because he just saw something, he just copied it from the Jews. 
I mean, if we believe their hadith, then, second, then yeah. he's just second a copycat. Oh, you do it. Oh, I, the Muslims are more closer to Musa. We're going to do it two days instead of one day. And he orders Muslims to do it. But the Muslim nowadays don't obey that order. Yeah. He was doing the Ashura, but today Muslims are not they're doing not, the Ashura. Not, they're not, yeah. So they're not following the Sunnah of Muhammad. Because they say it was abrogated. So how, what, how? The, uh, if you go to Ibn Kathir, like I was reading Ibn Kathir, he said it was abrogated after that. After when Ramadan started, when Allah ordered the Muslim to fast Ramadan, he abrogated the three days and Ashura. Oh, okay. So Allah. Uh, so uh, okay. it's not Allah. We know it's Muhammad. So. No, 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 according to their belief, it's all They will carry to their belief, okay. Oh, let's see. So Muhammad ordered his companion when he moved to Medina, the year, we said the year, maybe year two, we're not sure. His companion to fast three days of each month during the full moon, of course, plus Ashura. So uh, why do you say the full moon? Because uh, Quraysh used to do it uh, when the middle of the month is, the, is full moon. Full moon. And Quraysh was to because the Quraysh, they fast uh, to thank God for things. I don't know exactly yeah, why. But because if they were following the God of Quraysh, they're not worshiping moon, but just they're not worshiping moon. No, they're not worship moons. Oh, okay. No, but it's just like because a, Quraysh, their main god was uh, Hubal. Hubal. Hubal was a moon god. That's why. And they used to they used to have the the Ramadan from thirty I'm days not, to yeah. to, to worship sure, the not, moon. I'm they not, used to do thirty days Ramadan, the Quraysh. Yeah from uh, full moon to full moon, and then they used to sacrifice to the moon god. That's what the history I'm is. I'm not sure about it. Uh, yeah, I, I know about yeah. it because that makes sense if the Quraysh was doing it. Because Quraysh, you, you know, their chief god was the moon god. And it makes sense if it were doing it on full uh, moon. Full moon is another time when they worship their god. Uh, I respect your opinion, but for my, my, my I, don't, I don't really agree don't with this story, this story, but okay. We're not sure of anything anyway. All right. That's the whole thing. We're not sure of anything in the history okay. of Islam. But you, anybody can yeah. look it up. The Quraysh worship the moon god. Because the they changed. You have to understand the biggest liars in the world are Muslim. They changed their history to make it convenient for Muslims. Yeah, to make Muhammad a real prophet. So they have to take things. So Muhammad, uh, yeah. Fasting wasn't the same like today. You know, uh, today you're allowed to eat from sunset to sunrise. So the whole night you can eat. Uh, if you stay awake, stay awake and you don't sleep, you, you can eat the whole night. That's why they put extra weight, Muslim, in Ramadan. And they raise the prices of the food in the Ramadan. And they eat a lot, eat a lot. And uh, now if you go to supermarkets, I mean, the amount of product Muslim buy is unbelievable. So, yeah, it's a very materialistic. The Muslim at that time was, the Muslim at that time, the beginning was allowed to eat from sunset until he sleep. So, if he sleep even two minutes after the sun set, his fasting star. Really? So he's just fasting while he's sleeping, but I fast every night because I that's, go to sleep. That's the problem here. That's the problem with Muhammad. Muhammad didn't know how to to start, the, to make it special for Muslim. So he ordered, the, that's the, his order. So the first, you're, so you're allowed to eat from sunset until you sleep. So it depends what time you sleep. But if you sleep, just let's say you sleep one hour after sunset, you pray to your uh, Maghrib, which is the, the prayer for uh, one of the sunset, and you sleep, you're tired, that's it, you fasting style. So if you wake up in the middle of the night, you're not allowed to eat or have sex or drink because your, your fasting starts, which is very difficult. And we, say, we can't say why it's very difficult. Um, which means, uh, uh, like I said, Plus, the fasting was a choice, actually, in the beginning, with the motivation that the fasting is better. And one, uh, the one who doesn't want to fast can feed a, pe a poor person. So it was a choice. You have choice. So it's not like, like Ramadan now, so because to fast was a choice. If you want to fast, it's good. But if you don't want, and you're if you're able to fast and you don't want to fast, you just 
poor, feed a poor person. So let's talk about the verses now. So we bring the verses behind. So the, in the chapter of the cow, it's the second chapter actually, in uh, verse 183 and 184. So we're going to explain this, but we cannot talk about these verses and explain it. What does it mean? Okay, the 183 say, Oh, you have all, you who have believed, the creed upon you is fasting, as this was the creed upon those, those before you, that you may become righteous. It's very simple. Uh, so Muhammad say, you are, uh, I mean, Allah ordered to fast like the people before you. So, like the Jews. Like the Jews, Jews, Christian. But the problem here, the Jews didn't fast three days every month. Christian doesn't fast three days every month. So who fasts three days? Quraysh. It's obvious. So Muhammad following Quraysh, he doesn't follow the Jews or the Christian or other nations. None of this nation, if you go to history, none of this nation had three days a month fasting. So just Muhammad. So Muhammad, what he does is following Quraysh, doing the same like Quraysh used to do. Uh, the chapter 184, uh, verse 184 say, fasting for a limited number of days. What does it mean limited number of days? Lim uh, in Arabic, ayam ma'dudat doesn't mean from three to nine days. That's mean ayam ma'dudat. So it's correct. So he, he, they were fasting three days, so it's correct here. Yeah? So whoever among you is ill or on a journey, traveling, then an equal number of days are to be made up. So if you're sick or uh, traveling, you can eat. After that, you can fast another time. And upon those who are able to fast, but look at the, um, the Muslim, how they play with translation. And upon those who are able to fast, and they put between brackets with hardships. Quran doesn't say it's with hardship. They just say, وَعَلَى الَّذِينَ يُطِيقُونَهُ What does it mean, وَعَلَى الَّذِينَ يُطِيقُونَهُ People who are able to fast. But a Muslim somehow to play with the translation. And upon those who are able to fast, a ransom. So you feed a poor man, or uh, uh, a ransom of feeding a poor person each day. And whoever volunteer, it's better for him, mm. but to fast is better for you if you only knew. It's quite clear. So here they say, some people. So at the beginning, you don't have to. If you don't want to fast, you can. It's up to you fasting. So it's not like you have to. It's not uh, now Ramadan. You have to fast. It's one of the pillar of Islam. But at the beginning, it's up to you. If you're able, you don't want to fast. It's okay, you just feed a poor person that day. And, uh, and he say fasting is better if you, if you want to do it. Quite clear verses, it is, there is no trouble. The trouble come after. Uh, Ibn Kathir, let's say what Ibn Kathir what he said. Let's take about what Ibn Kathir said, this was the case at the beginning of Islam. The, uh, they fasted three days every month. Then this was abrogated by Ramadan. And he keeps saying, as for the uh, of the healthy person, Ibn Kathir say, who is able to fast, he had the choice between fasting or feeding and feeding. If he wanted, he could fast. And if he doesn't want, he feed one poor person. Do you know what, day. Uh, what century was Ibn Kathir? Uh, I think it was a um, Muslim calendar five, uh, 400, uh, between 500, year, 500 years after Ma. But Ibn Kathir took it from Tab uh, Tabari. And how long was Tabari away from it? Uh, all uh, uh, Ibn Kathir, Tafsir Ibn Kathir is exact, almost the same copy like Tabari. It just adds sometimes things. And Tabari was born about 200 years after Muhammad. Wow. But Tabari took it from other people, it doesn't mean it took it from early, early Muslim. So it's not, you could say it's far away, but there were so many books at that time as well. 
so many historic historian yeah, before but the him. point is who tells them which one is the correct one how do they know which which commandment is the correct when they say oh that's abrogated this is now the, the they're thing. not sure they're just uh, mention opinions 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 uh, that's the problem with islam yeah. it's there's a religion a, of opinions there's a i'll mention a joke that, so let's have some some fun there is a muslim scholar so people come to him asking him about sharia things in sharia and he always say there's two opinion to that every time someone asks him about something in islam he said oh there are two opinions and he mentioned something and someone clever come to him he said sheikh what what about existence of god and the sheikh he forget himself he said there are two opinions <laughs> and he told him you kafir <laughs> so they they stoned the guy what about you know what that happened to him so they show you islam is just one. opinion opinion and make you lost in uh, yeah i see what you mean yeah uh we were stopped so that's just a joke so no. islamic joy i used to hear it a long time <laughs> um so okay so that's the uh, the beginning of fasting so it was three days plus ashura and you have choice uh, and fasting was very difficult as soon as you sleep that's it your your fasting starts until until your next day sunset imagine so it's a 24 hour fast. sometimes if you sleep they early they have the 24 hour now they have sunrise to sunset so yeah it's different we say it's different where so, did they get the, that from sunrise we, to we're sunset. gonna come oh, okay. we're gonna come to this uh so let's uh, ch after that the chapter we mentioned chapter 183 and 184 chapter 185 what does it say let's uh, before we read the chapter we, we talk about him uh, the chapter one eight come after, uh, uh, come after and change it and change everything. Mm. This verse one eight five say you must fast the whole month of Ramadan, not just few days for each month, and you have to fast it if uh, you have to fast it if you are able. There is no choice here, unless you are sick or traveling. So uh after that you got another verse 187 the last verse it was the last verse actually 187 come with some regulation because of the behavior of some of the companion of muhammad some so muhammad had to change some few things in fasting some rules in fasting because of behavior of some of his companion when the fasting was ordered for the first time was until Maghrib, which is sunset. Okay, we're okay now. The problem was when you allow to eat, drink, and having sex. There are, some, there are many opinions, but the most authentic are from sunset until you sleep, without specifying the time of sleeping. Even if you sleep, two minutes or one hour after Maghrib, which is the prayer of sunset. And others say from Maghrib until Aisha. Aisha is the last prayer. Isha. Aisha is the last prayer. Which means the fasting starts just after the last prayer until sunset of the next day. In general, these two opinions are almost the same. Why they are the same? Because most of the people sleep after Aisha at that time. Mm. So there's no big difference between them. Your fasting can start after Aisha or your fasting start after you go to sleep. But we know that most, most, uh, most people go to, to sleep after Aisha, which is quite late at night. Uh, because the fasting was too long at the beginning, some of Muhammad's companions couldn't commit to these no, no, rules. 24 hour rule. And yeah, it was sometimes. That, we're gonna mention the story of one guy. Because of the fasting was too long, some of the Muhammad companions couldn't commit to these rules and some problems start to show. So the system was breached. The system of Muhammad was breached. Yeah. And just to remind, to remind you that 
fasting include eating, drinking, and sex. The story said the Prophet Muhammad saw one man, one of his men, one of his company, of course, his name Sarma, feeling weak and dizzy and close to lose consciousness. So Muhammad went to him and he asked him. So when Muhammad asked him, he found out that the day before, one dumb man returned home after sunset. He asked his wife to prepare some food for him. Mm. So she told him she needs some time. She to, she needs some time to warm the uh, the food. Mm. And because he was tired and he he fell asleep before he eat. He fell asleep before he eat. So he was forced to keep fasting until the next day, until the sunset of oh, next wow. day. Okay. That's why he was so tired. But the story, the most important, is the story of Omar ibn Khattab, the most important man after Muhammad, actually. Is this Omar ibn Khattab who gave us the Quran? No, oh, no, Abu, no. Abu, the, Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr yeah, started. No, no. But Omar ibn Khattab is the one who gave. He's the one who suggested to, to Abu Bakr to collect the to Quran. Collect, that's so the one. He's suggesting it, yeah, Omar. Was, yeah. uh, let's see the importance of Omar. There is hadith. This. It's Sahih, most Muslims say Hadith Sahih. Muhammad said, if there was a prophet after me, it would, be, it would have been Umar ibn Khattab. Mm. That show you how important Umar ibn Khattab. Umar had sex with his wife after the last prayer of the day. The, after the prayer of Isha, which is, you're not allowed to have that. Because your fasting oh, starts. So you breaking his fast. So your fasting starts after the prayer yeah, of Aisha. Yeah, we said that. But okay. Omar couldn't control himself. Ah. He had to say. The other story said, there's another story said, Omar ibn Khattab, when he entered his home late night, he found his wife sleep. So he wake up his wife and he forced her to have sex with him. And his wife was asleep. So that means his wife, she's fasting now. Yeah. So he broke her fast too. He broke his up fast and he broke his fast. Oh, okay. So Omar felt guilty after that because he didn't commit to the rules of fasting. So he went to Prophet Muhammad and he told him the whole story. I don't know how he can control himself, but the story of Islam is all about sex or whatever. I'm sure Muhammad was very angry with him when he told him, right? Uh, doesn't say uh, probably. <laughs> uh, no, he's a very important man. He can't be angry with him. He, he's a very important man. So he must, Muhammad must, like these people, like Muhammad, Omar ibn Khattab, Abu Bakr. So he, he let must, them off easy. He let, he, yeah. He let, he's very lenient. He can't get, he can't make them angry. Oh. Oh. They, he need them. Oh, okay. So because of that, of this story, Allah, Allah, of course, no Muhammad, Allah, changed some rules. Some, so he changed the old rules with the new one. So now we are allowed, Muslim are allowed to eat from sunset to sun, uh, from sun, uh, sunset until sundown. So, I mean, sun, uh, sundown. Oh, okay. So they until can have dawn, sex until dawn. Until dawn. Sorry. Until dawn. Okay. So Muhammad, uh, now Muslim are allowed to eat the, the whole night and having sex because okay. they can't control themselves anyway right. like Omar yeah. right. and uh, falling asleep during the night is okay you can sleep wake up whatever anytime yeah. you want yeah so it's not like the same right let's go to the chapter uh, the verse let's read the verse yeah and let's understand what does it mean okay. um, So we said the verse 187. Let's read it. Which surah is it? It's same uh, surah, Kaw, the, Kaw? Uh, okay. the second chapter the of Quran. Second chapter of Quran. Okay. The month of Ramadan in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for the people and clear proof of guidance and criterion. So whoever sight the mount, so the full moon, uh, the, uh, the moon, I mean, sorry, yeah. the moon, let him fast it, and whoever is ill or on a journey, then an equal number of day of other days. Allah intend for your ease 
and does not intend for your hardship and want for you complete to complete the period and glorify Allah for that which he has guided you and perhaps you will be grateful uh -huh. it's very simple there's nothing you don't need explanation it's very clear let's go to the other one the last verse the Quran and how Muslim change things as well it has been, uh, so it's number 187 it has been made permissible for you the night uh, for you the night preceding fasting to go to your wife for sexual relation of course they are clothing for you and you are clothing for them Allah knows that you used to deceive yourself what does it mean Actually, you do, you, you're not deceiving yourself, you're deceiving Allah and Muhammad because you're not respecting the rules, the mm -hmm. first rules. Uh, and that story about Umar ibn Khattab, actually. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That story is about Umar ibn Khattab. Yeah. Allah knows that you used to deceive yourself, so He accepted your repentance and forgave you. So, probably there were other Muslims, apparently. And not just Umar ibn Khattab, but we don't know their name. So now, you have... So now, have a relation with you, uh, with them, of course, sex, and seek that which Allah has decreed for you. And eat and drink until white thread of dawn, dawn become distinct to you from the black thread of night. Then complete the fast until the sunset. And do not have relation with them as long as you are staying for worship in the mosque. That's quite strange story, uh, verse. Uh, that's quite strange. Why you do want to have sex with your wife in your mosque? Yeah, in the mosque, she's not there anyways. So, does it make sense? Muslim scholar don't want to explain this. Apart, they try to avoid explaining this because it's quite confusing. Why made you? I mean, if you the sex, you have sex with your wife. Maybe in the beginning in they your used house. to bring their wives in the masjid and have sex with them there. Quas That's the only reason why you would say. I never understood this, and uh, in my whole life as a Muslim, when I was Muslim. This is the one that really confused me and made me uh, completely confused the whole time. Why he's talking about that? Why he's talking about mosque and fasting and why having sex? <laughs> Whatever. So let's, let's forget this. Let's uh, keep going. Yeah. These are the limits of Allah. So do not approach them. Thus does Allah make clear his ordinance to the people that they may become righteous. So what do I understand from this? Let's see what I understand. The conclusion of all that talking. So, we understand that the organization of rules in Islam was through experimentation. Experimentation. So, Prophet Muhammad make rules in Islam by seeing how much commitment yeah, is it's like companions trial and are error. able to observe yeah it's like trial and error they learn from their mistake they say oh this is not working okay let's do this way yeah we don't know in which in which year was this last changing we don't muslim don't, they're, not, they're not sure when which year muhammad made these last changes was the year three was the year four or year five nine there's no single scholar he knows exactly what happened which is strange how come you don't we don't know this in our in our in Islam yeah of course uh, that's the whole history of Islam so if you have any question please no I was just wondering you know I mean this whole thing it makes no sense because uh, why is Allah giving like uh, some you know like telling Muhammad to do the monthly like uh, thing and everything. three days a month yeah three days a month because and then he changes his mind why the abrogation would be like okay so okay they say abrogation is Allah said that I'll give you something similar or something better to replace yeah. the verse right that's what the Quran says yeah. that's what the Quran says okay so what was wrong with the three-day fasting that had to be replaced by 30-day fasting and it's, then what was wrong with the 24-hour fasting that had to be changed to uh, a better one for 12-hour 12, 12 fasting all right. if you want my opinion it's very easy I think uh, Muhammad, so he did the same like Quraysh used to do, same like Ashura or three days. 
but because he brought Islam, he is the last prophet. He must make things. He can't make the same things like the Quraysh used to do. So, so he, he has changed to change things. it a little bit. And yeah. So instead of like washing like this, they would wash like this or something, something like that. Something like that. Stand, you, so if they're the standing, way, you have to sit. Like when the there way was you a pray. funeral, so you instead don't, of standing, yeah. you have to sit. We know down. the prayer. Some people like uh, Sabian used to pray as well five times. But Muhammad changed the way how to pray, uh, how to do wudu, so uh, be changing. So you have Muhammad, of course, he's not stupid, he's clever. So to make people believe that he brought a new religion, no religion, that this is the last religion, so the last message. So he, has to make something so he must make different from the early one. And that, like that, people don't look at it. Oh, you, you just copy in Muhammad people. Yeah. You fast in three days like Quraysh used to fast. Oh, okay. You fast in Ashura like Quraysh used to, yeah. because the day, that day you, Ash, Quraysh used to change the cover of the Kaaba that, uh, that day. It was a very important day. Yeah. Now they change the time of the change the Kaaba. Because it's, not yeah. it's fascinating. And uh, why is uh, the timing? Because it was very hard for his companion to fast it, because if someone work and we know some people that were doing some hard job and he come home so tired he sleep early and if he if we up during the night to drink he can't drink he can't eat even it, during the night so yeah. that was very difficult for them to fast yeah but i mean uh, what is the purpose of fasting is what my, i want to know why does allah want muslim to fast there is no purpose. It's just following Muhammad, just following the earlier religion before him. You know, like following okay. Quraysh, following uh, uh, the way the other people used to fast, or the nation used to fast. So, you know, I will. Okay, so uh, let me make a couple of comments I have about Christianity and yeah. fasting. Like in the Bible, Jesus fasted for forty days and forty nights on the mountain before he started his ministry. There's another place in the Bible where it says these kind of, you know, somebody was possessed by the demons or something and the, and the apostle, somebody came to Jesus and said, we couldn't get it, those out. He said, those kind of demons are all, uh, need, you need to fast before you do that. So what fasting to me, it seems like is to prepare yourself like, or for a mission. Like Jesus, when he, before he started his ministry, he fasted for 40 days to concentrate himself just on his ministry so that he can like get close to God and, and start his ministry. Or when you want to go and fight the demon, you fast and you get close to God and then you go and get this demon out or whatever. So this kind of, it has a purpose. Spiritually, you can see it has spiritual, spiritual purpose. purpose yeah. So whenever you're fasting, uh, it doesn't have to be just food. It can be fasting from uh, what the Muslims can do is start from talking as well. There is uh, talking as well. Lies, telling lies, telling lies from Takia, from uh, you know abusing their wives. I say I'm not gonna yeah, hit my own. wife for one month. Even in Quran, it mentioned uh, uh, in the Quran uh, in ch uh, chapter Mary, uh, the fasting of Mary was just not talking to the people, her people. So that's why you fasting. Yeah. So, so there is a lot of so different kind of connotations and it has in, some purpose yeah, to it. Stay in a law, but, um, but like Islam, it has no purpose. It's like purposeless. Now, wouldn't it be better for if Muslims were to not engage in any violence against their the problem, other people? Yeah, the problem now in Muslim country, most of Muslim country. Okay. Uh, How are you? Come over here. The amount of... Uh, come, 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 Asher. Let's come over here. Here is. Thank you, Christian. Are you brothers. fasting? I'm Are you fasting? fasting. Just, just. Oh, good. I'm just good, coming good. to shake hands. With, yeah, yeah. Uh, with, that's great. That's great. Thank you. Thank Hopefully you for coming. Don't mock our prophet. Thank we're you. No, Jesus. we're not talking about mocking at all. We're just talking about fasting. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Relations. Yeah, yeah. Why are you taking your hand away? I don't want you to run away because Muslims run away always. Are you ah, going to run away? You might kill me. No, no, if I leave your hand, are you going to run I'm away? Am I your enemy? No, no, are you going to run away? Am I your enemy? Okay, listen. Are we friends? Yeah, we are. Are we okay. friends? Yes, yes, yeah, of course. So then we respect each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We respect each other's faith. Yeah. Okay, can I ask you a question now? Go break my fast. Huh? Hello, my friend. You're fasting, right? Are we talking about fasting here. As long as you're not going to mock. No, no, no. I'm going to just ask questions, okay? I'll give you one question. Because then I have to go. I'll open my fast. Where are you going? I have to open my fast. Oh, you're gonna break your fast. Yeah, one question, go on. Okay, As a well, friend, Sam. All right. What's the purpose of fasting? There's two purposes. There's a spiritual purpose, and then there's a physical purpose. Give us the spiritual and the physical. 
the spiritual aspect is um, so you can get a better control of your nafs, your, your desires. If you're abstaining from food, you know your lust, the lower lust of the self, the one that's the wait, wait, wait. Lust. Now that's a very important one, isn't it? I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna go into a debate. No, no. I'm just I'm saying, I'm not let me just explain it. So I'm just trying to understand. So it. you have you know people like food, because drink, when you're excessive. when you're fasting, you're only fasting from food, right? You're abstaining from food, right? No, in the Quran, there are different types of fasting. Yes. Is there a lust? So fasting? let me just finish. Is there yeah. fasting for lust there, there, where there, you cannot look there, at a woman so you and ask have me, any so, desire? So yeah, you know what? You're absolutely right. In the Quran, the, the fast of Yaqub was for three days, not speaking to anyone. Right. Yeah. Mary, she didn't speak to some. Uh, yeah, she according speak. to you yeah. guys, yeah. We know. Correct me if I'm wrong. What Je is Ashura? Je Jesus, you're going to so just fasting. Yeah? Yeah. So there's different types of fasting: abstaining from speaking, abstaining from food. We know Jesus but, fasted for 40 days, but just water. Yeah. But uh, what was the purpose of his fast? But I'm saying that God, in His wisdom, gave different types of fasting to different types of religious communities yeah? at different times. So for, for our fasting, it's food, water, and also lustful thoughts. Does it say that? Speaking. Does it say it in the Quran? Well, this is part of legislation. Which legislation? What Allah here. What is it? Abstain. No, no. Does it say anywhere in the Quran anyway, abstain from uh, lust in, uh, while you are fasting? No, I'm saying these no. are the benefits you can obtain. This from, you can yeah, these are the spiritual benefits, and then the physical benefits are like. Your, you're fasting with the poor people. What do you mean? Like, but you're eating a lot of food. The most food that's eaten in the Muslim world is during Ramadan. Yeah. You have all kinds of feasting. Yeah, I, I, it's not fasting, it's feasting. I agree with you. 30 I, days of feasting, I, 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 I do agree with you. They should uh, restrict themselves when opening their fast. Yeah. I do. There is spiritual benefit. That's the whole right, point. Right. So okay. I fast even outside of Ramadan. Right. I fasted for 40 days as well. What? Outside of Ramadan. No, do you do a shura? So I, I done that. You know the Jesus fast. Um, I was fasting. No, I was doing sunset. I was fasting for forty days in a row, even three months in the winter months. So yeah. What, what were you doing? How were you fasting like Jesus? Jesus was just drinking water, right? Or he wasn't eating. Yeah, but we we can do that. There's no there's no restriction. We can't do that. Oh, okay, so you did the uh, 40 you can days do that of just water. Of, so, in Ram, so we have a Sharia in Ramadan, we fast, abstaining from food and drinking. Outside of Ramadan, so, if I so want, I can, I, can, I can fast like Jesus. Did the Ramadan days. start on a Monday? Like when the first Ramadan no. started? Because the Quran came in Monday. In Ramadan, what does right? it mean? It's a Greek mythology, yeah, some, yeah, kind it's a Monday, Monday. some kind of pagan yeah. Fasting, Monday. Yeah. Allah, in these verses we, fasting, we mentioned. Um, fasting with us is to do with the lunar calendar. Because yeah. it's nothing to do with the moon god, right? No, no. God chose us for us the lunar calendar. No, no, not for lunar you. Side, lu lunar. Do you know that lunar calendar was used by the by the church? By I'm the done. Jews, by yes, everybody. yes, that was the... Why? So why did you say that it was... The, 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 the lunar calendar was chosen by for us. No, no, God. because we've only preser we've preserved the lunar visibility calendar. What do you mean by the, that? The Christians and the Jews yeah. have not preserved the lunar visibility calendar. Oh, They've you know the lunar the calendar. visibility calendar would be preserved by the people who worship the moon. No, 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 no. The visibility calendar is on the 29th day. You go and at sunset, just after sunset, you yeah. you visualize the moon with your eyes, and then you confirm. Yeah. The, the, the end of the month and the start of the new month. Right, the right, Jews right. don't do right, that. But the, they but, use calculations. But Ramadan starts they from they, one the Jews have new moon. The, moon yeah, yeah. the Jews okay. and the Christians and Greg, the Pope, he said some months have 31 days. Yeah, some months have 29 days. Right, right. Let's not go to the calendar. Yeah, but this is, the calendar okay. is important because the calendar is part of the divine system of time. Which, which no, it is, it is, yeah. it is. That's why the Jews. It's a visibility calendar. Right, right. No, it's, not the visibility calendar. It's just to keep it, it time. Is, there was no, a, no, there's no. an office called Nasi. No, time for what? There was a time, the seasonal time for seasons. Yes. That's part of. And for? For work. For symbols. Yeah, for work and also for rituals. No, no, for signs. Religious rituals. For signs. For Re signs. Religious rituals. For signs. Rituals. No, no, rituals okay. Listen, let me say something here. Because. So, the, anyway, the, we the fast for different the, reasons. We accept the, Jesus' fast of, of no, no, water. But look, yeah. look, look. The we thing also is, accept the fast the, of Jacob of, of not speaking. Mm. So, there's different types of fasts. So, we fast in Ramadan 
one way. Outside of Ramadan, I can fast the Jesus way. I fasted for a few days just drinking water. Like, but let yeah. me just ask you There's something. Nothing wrong no, with no, no. Because yeah. if they I show you, have spiritual benefits. because the Muslim tradition or the Muslim history look, tells us, one is not better than the other. Look, look, look. All accepting in the look, eyes of God. Look, because look, we're friends. Allah, I don't okay, argue. I understand. I'm not arguing. Can I say something? You've been just going on and on. Right, so please be, be, be uh, don't nice. Don't mock me now. No, right. I'm just saying. Muhammad was born on Monday. He died on Monday. We don't know what No, no, this is on your... I can show you the sources. The sources are not reliable. Why not? They're not conclusive. They're weak hadith. No, these are not weak hadith. We don't these know are... what day he was born. Okay. He was born Rabbi Lovell, right? That's what we know. We don't know what okay, day Okay, so that was Monday. They say it was no, Monday. But yes, know, it but was. The sources are not reliable. No, no, no. Are there are... Okay, if anybody wants to know, you can just put significance of Monday in know, Islam. The sources... Significance of Monday in Islam. Can I say something? Please, can you not be rude? Okay, please don't be rude. Right. I'll let you speak, so please let me speak. If you... If you just type in your, I can do it right now. If I type okay, in okay, okay. Just get uh, significance of Monday in Islam, you will find that Muhammad was born on Monday, died on Monday. Gates of heavens are open for uh, for Muslims on Monday. Is this in the Quran or the outside this is of the Quran? All, this is all in your literature. In, in the Quran or outside of the Quran? Okay, so are you saying everything outside of the Quran in Islam is false? No, I'm saying that Quran is law. Quran is the yeah, truth. There is nothing in the Quran that abrogates anything that I'm it saying. Does. The Quran sits in judgment of what's outside of the Quran. Right. So if it doesn't mention something, how does it judge that? Yeah, but we have to look at authenticity. Right. So so that's it, what I'm saying. So these are all authentic so sources. Thing, no, these are not authentic sources. Because, how do you know? Because his birthday date is something that's okay. fabrication. Are the Before gates of heaven open for Muslims on, on Monday? I've not been to heaven. I don't know. Have you? No, no, no. But that's what it says. I don't know. It's from your literature. I'm quoting from your I don't literature. Know. Okay. In the Quran, it doesn't say No, no, no. What I'm saying is, Monday is moon day. I don't and, know and you're, well, I'm just saying it because you're saying that we have a visual lunar calendar. Look, and I'm telling you the lunar calendar was followed by the, the, the uh, ones in Sumeria that started... The lunar calendar was even followed by Noah. Because yeah, he said yeah, he yeah, lived for 900 plus 50 years. I know, years, but, the, the but the cycle. visual, but the visual, yeah, so the visual is the crescent moon. Yes, because that the visual, they, they moved away from the divine method. They Ash, corrupted Ash, the calendar. Ash, please. Yeah. No, the moon calendar is Look, one thing, but the, no, no, no. But they were worshipping the moon itself. I'm on the, uh, but they were worshipping the moon worship, itself. No, no, no. You do. I don't. Yes, you do. I no, listen, listen. The the no, you don't. I do. you, no, no, no. Because, <laughs> because, because you're using the symbol of your. I don't the, use no what, symbol. No, you do. You have the you have the crescent moon on your mosque. You're using that symbol. What do you mean? Who put it there? I, don't, I never put anything on the mosque. No, not you personally, as Muslims, as the Ummah. I don't know what they do. I can't, I'm not responsible. No, no, no. You are responsible if you have... Are you going to tell everybody that every mosque... Just say it on the camera. Every mosque is going against Islam if it has the crescent, including the one in Mecca. Just say it. Look, what did the Prophet... The Prophet built a mosque. Yeah, his masjid. Did it have any crescent moon on it? It does right now. It no, does. His mosque. No, go to the mosque. Yes. The, so what the, the what is the name of the mosque uh, in, in uh, Mecca? The mosque that was uh, built uh, by Muhammad. The Christians. The Prophet built a mosque. Yes, it and had, it has crescent moon on it. The one that the Prophet built. I will it, tell it had, you right now. Go. Of, there was nothing on it. There was nothing. Uh, on it. Nabi, uh, no, no, no. Masjidul uh, uh, Nabi. Yeah. Nabi. What is it called? What they done afterwards? Okay. I'm not responsible so, for. No, no, no. It's not afterwards. So, Muhammad, the Quraysh, look, I was just with my brother here. My brother here was telling us that the Quraysh... No, 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 let me just say something. The Quraysh used to have the fasting. The Quraysh used to have the fasting that you are doing. So the Quraysh were also worshipping the, the crescent moon, right? Um, I have fasting, I have to leave, but this brother here will take over. All right. No, he's no, not Muslim. You, that's you okay. Gonna... He has to run away because he can't. Uh, no. brother, brother, it's okay. Brother, that's good. You're fasting. I that's can't... good. But you're fasting for the moon. That's look, what. Because the moon in comes my in. Area, it look, comes look, out. Sam, Sam. Yeah. In my area, mm. a group of Muslims who's got money, they just mm. get together. They apply for a permit, mm. and they've got like a million pounds, and the law permits them to build a mosque. They can put Mary on there. They can put a cross on there. Yeah, but what about they Kaaba? Can, what about Kaaba? What about Kaaba? What about Kaaba? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. You guys do need no, money. That's what they do. I don't. Oh, have you wanna, any, you wanna talk about something? I don't have any control yeah. over what they do and how they decorate. No, no, no. I'm not talking about you yeah. personally. I'm saying all your mosques in Kaaba have crescent moons on it. All your mosques, major mosques, Look, all have crescent moons do, on it. What they do, I'm not responsible. No, no, no. It's not they. It's Islam is doing it. It's a, who's doing it? Who are these days? The Prophet never done that. 
Yes, Prophet did because he was from Quraysh. No, and the Quraysh used to have the crescent moon. That's what their symbol was. Anyways, that's Ramadan, is the moon god. The Quraysh used to have 30 days of moon god worship in the Ramzan. And that's what they're doing. Islam is from the pits of hell. Jesus is Lord. I'm out.